Hi, my name is Sarah. I'll be your teaching artist today, and this is my wife. Hi, I'm Lex. And you are in our home studio where we will be filming and creating some amazing foil embossed artwork. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to introduce to you the different materials that we're going to be using for this project. The first is our foil, our cardboard, our ruler, paper, and our glue, our scissors. Pencil, and last but not least, our coloring tools. So I have in this cup some tempera paint sticks that are a lot like oil pastels, which are really fun, and some Crayola washable markers, as well as a permanent marker, a Sharpie. And let's get started. Okay, step one. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out a piece of cardboard as our base. So you're going to need your scissors, your cardboard, pencil, and ruler. I'm going to start off by making a 5x5 five five inch base. So just by looking at this, this already isn't big enough, so I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to measure out 5 inches from the corner. And I see here that it's already five inches, so I'm just going to mark where that is and know that it's along that crease. And then I'm going to measure out another five inches. Then I'm going to make this flush up against the edge so it's a nice straight line. And then using my scissors, I'm going to cut this square out. So for this you need your paper and your pencil and your cardboard base. I say you need your cardboard base because it's perfect for getting the idea of how big of an area you have to work with. So what I do is I trace along the cardboard to create that template in here. And for my design, I'm planning on creating a rainbow. And I want the arches of those rainbows to connect to two clouds. So I'm going to draw my clouds first. And then get these arches in. And I'm just going to count them out and label them. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue. So one, two, three, four, five. Awesome. So step three is we are going to use more cardboard to cut out pieces inspired by my design. And I just cut out another piece of the 5x5 five five because again, I know what I have to work with, the area that I have to work with. And I'm going to very gently again sketch out this idea, but I'm going to use my marker just so that I have a better um, detail of what I'm doing. I'm going to get these clouds again. No worries if your first initial sketch doesn't match up to 
what you end up creating. That's what art's all about. It's all about planning and sometimes things don't work out the way you first planned it. Okay, so when you're creating this embossed foil, you want to make sure that you give it some space in between these areas so that the foil can fall between those surfaces. So I'm just going to make like a deeper line here so you can get a sense of where there's going to be an empty space there. And again, we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue. So I can actually make this one come down a little more. Awesome. Okay, we're going to start cutting now. What I like to do is I like to cut off the corners as much as possible. So here we go. I'm going to cut these all out. Now I'm gonna just cut around these arches so that I separate um, the clouds from these pieces here. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut up into halfway and then just cut the other way to meet them. When you're cutting with curves, it's best to move the cardboard versus the um, versus your hand moving. It's best to just have the cardboard move. Okay, so I'm going to go in and just clean up these pieces. This one doesn't need as much. You see where the black is, and I can cut all that off. Okay, so now 
down to like clear off that space. And I'm going to just lay out these shapes and see what I got, see what I missed. I missed this part here. Just gonna lay them out. <coughs> I'm noticing that there's a little too much black, so I'm going to go in and edit some of these out. Okay. And one trick that I like to do with this sort of cardboard is I like to peel off one of the layers to expose the inner layer. So I'm going to do that with this because I feel like it would add a nice texture to the embossing. And then you can always use your nails or whatever you have with you to get more of that texture out. going to glue the cutout pieces onto the base. So we have our base here and all of our pieces. So for me, I have my arches. What I like to do when I'm gluing is I like to just use a scrap piece that I have and just put that bit of glue. When you're using glue, less is more. You can always use less if you need to. Um, you can use your finger if you want to glue this. You can use a stick. Um, I have a paintbrush, so I'm just going to start by gluing on these clouds first. And I'm going to position them this way. Add some more glue. Like I said, less is more. So I can always add more, but you can sometimes with glue it's harder to put it back. And I'm gonna start off with let's see. I'm gonna start off just by laying them out one more time just to make every sure everything is where it should be.
Also, feel free to edit anything you want to edit. So I think I'm just going to cut this one a little shorter. Okay, all of our pieces are glued down. Now we have step five. This step we're going to wrap the project with foil. So I have my piece here. And one way that you can make sure that the pieces are all glued onto your vase is to turn it over and give it a little shake. And if nothing falls off or if nothing looks, looks loose, you're good to go. And I'm going to get my foil. I'm just gonna line it up with the the artwork to see how much off the end it is. I wanted to have a little bit of space so that I can wrap it around. I'm gonna cut that. And then I'm going to just lay it in the middle. And then I'm gonna work from the center of it, because I feel like this is where most of the tension would exist and I just want to make sure that uh, it gets as much attention to it as possible. So I'm going to go in here and crease all these different edges of the cardboard. And then you'll start to see those pieces coming up. You want to be pretty slow with this. You don't want to be too um, quick because the foil isn't extremely durable. It's pretty delicate and you want to make sure that you're not brushing this. That way that your foil doesn't rip. And if it does rip, you can easily add some glue um, and glue those pieces down if it does rip. No worries. Okay, and then this is my, my favorite part, these little clouds. You can see them going across towards all of them. lift it up and I'm going to flip it on its back and then with this I'm just going to do like you would wrap a present I'm just going to push these sides over flatten that put these sides over flatten that then I'm going to fold these in like this Um, you could use tape, you could use glue. I'm just going to leave it open for now. Let's see what this side. If you wanted, you could also add another square if you had one of cardboard. You could just like put it on the back um, and maybe like have an attachment here and you can hang your artwork. Um, I'm going to flip this back over. I'm going to go over my foil and emboss it a little more. Make sure it has those edges nice and flat in there. And there you go. You can get a pretty good view of all the different pieces of cardboard underneath. And now we're on to our next step. And our last step is step six. 
So now we're going to use um, our markers or different coloring tools to decorate our embossed foil. I'm going to start off by using the permanent marker just because I want to get an idea of the contour of these outlines of these different lines. So I'm just going to gently go in and get those. Making sure that you're being very gentle. I'm not applying a whole lot of pressure, like I said, because it might um, rip into the foil. So you just want to take your time. It's definitely a patience practice. Okay, so I got that outline. Actually, missed a couple of spots. That's fine. Okay, see the permanent markers on there now. I'm gonna use my um, temper paint six just because I feel like they're really fun and easy to use. Um, like I said, they're a lot like oil pastel pastels. I'm just gonna go over. This will be my red. Okay, so now that I've colored in all these different areas, I can go back again if you want and push down any areas that you want to push down. But this foil is now in boss. Okay, so I hope you all enjoy your artwork. Like I said, if you wanted, you can attach um, anything to the back to sort of hang it, or you can add magnets. Um, you also can emboss the foil by using um, any kind of string. If you have yarn, you can glue the yarn down, or any found objects, um, buttons, rocks, leaves, whatever you can think of can get put onto your base and then the foil can be put on top to create this nice embossing texture that we have here. Studio 54 was all about high fashion. Continue to use your foil at home by creating wearable art. I decided to make this really cool bracelet. Um, have fun with us next month where you will be creating uh, recyclable artwork with our teaching artist James and his special assistant Isani James. Uh, thank you so much. Goodbye, and thank you for making art with us today. Uh, we hope you all have be smooth this week moving forward.